Let us pray. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From of old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. The reading this evening is from the Gospel according to John, the 13th chapter. When Jesus had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Love one another, just as I have loved you. That's Jesus' great commandment to us. This passage comes as part of Jesus' farewell discourse. It comes immediately after he stooped down and washed his disciples' feet. Uh, an, act, an act of love, not just a feeling, but an act of, of service, of humble service. Jesus came to teach us it's not about being served, but it's about serving. And ultimately that serving is about love. That's really what it's all about. As he loved us, that is the model. That is the example for us. In our baptism, we uh, 
take on that commitment to serve all people following the example of our Lord Jesus Christ, to love one another. It's a beautiful thought. Unfortunately, we're not always so good at it, are we? And I think Jesus knew that we would have trouble with this one. He knew that the kind of love that he was able to, to give, indeed giving him his very life, opening his arms wide on the cross in love for the whole world, that kind of love we're just not capable of. We're not interested in. We're just, we're just not going to do. But nevertheless, we have this commandment. We might also think of it as this great aspiration to love as Jesus loved. And we can only live out this commandment in the context of our baptism, in the context of this life that we live with others, uh, this, the context of a life in which we are regularly hearing the word, whether, where we are sharing the supper, where we are being fed, uh, where we are witnessing to what God has done, where we are part of this great movement of the kingdom of God. We can only truly love as Jesus loved when we're part of Jesus's body, when we're part of him. And that seems to me to be the whole message of, of baptism, that we are drowned in this water. We are drowned to ourselves and we are raised up again as new creation in Christ Jesus. But not apart from others, a new creation in his church, in his body, whatever metaphor uh, works, we are part of Christ. And in a very real way, we are Christ in the world. It's the only way we can live out this commandment to love one another is in him and with him and through him. Return to those waters of baptism. Remember who we are and draw strength from each other, draw strength from the word, draw strength from the sacraments, draw strength to love. Grant us vision, 
Till your love's revealing light In its height and depth and greatness Dawns upon our quick insight Making known the needs and burdens Your compassion bids us bear Stirring us to ardent service Your abundant life to share God of mercy, hold us in love. In peace, we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For peace and salvation, we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For peace between nations, for peace between peoples. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all of your servants who live out your gospel, God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who govern, that justice might guide them, God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who labor in service to others, God of mercy, hold us in love. Grant weather that nourishes all of creation, God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy, God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us all our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus.